Alexa, turn on the lights. Hello, this is Jason and welcome to a tour of my Dream Desk Setup 2023 edition. This setup makeover has been in progress for a very, very long time and finally I am now very satisfied for it in terms of a university student studying and working and entertaining in this desk setup. So recently I added a new renovation to this desk setup in terms of its functionality in which I've actually included LED lights and smart bulbs all over my room it can be controlled by Alexa and as well as smartphone apps and this allows me to platoon the mood of the entire room and therefore the desk setup by adjusting what color I want. Ah, such a dog. Ah, such a dog. The smart bulbs are actually more, more useful than I thought. Whenever I come in the room, I can just say, Alexa, turn on the lamps, and they do turn on. Uh, 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 Hi. Uh, hello, 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 hello. I've also, in terms of the lighting setup, I've also got some IKEA light strips behind my monitor to have that glowing effect and it does actually ease off my eyes a little bit at night but i'm planning to get a monitor bar on top of the monitor in the future as well so in terms of the desk itself this is a really sturdy ikea desk which i've used for years and i've got an ikea alex drawer unit on its side for additional storage as well as the functionality of holding the desk itself the IKEA Alex drawer unit, uh, I've actually pushed it towards the wall a little bit and it gave me a little bit more desk space and actually made it to the ultimate charging station. So I've made it to there's a wireless charging pad, USB chargers, my toothbrush charger where I charge my Oral-B smart toothbrush, camera battery chargers, Kindle charging, AirPods charging, battery bank charging, and headphones charging. You know with all these tech gadgets, you gotta keep track of your charging. And I am very bad at keeping charge of my devices, so I'm trying to get better by organizing this charging station here, which allows me to charge all my devices simultaneously. So my headphones of choice in this setup when I'm doing work or studying are the Sony WH-1000 Mark IVs. This has served me very, very well over the years in terms of noise cancellation and the Bluetooth. However, I have noticed with the two device simultaneous Bluetooth pairing, it can get very frustrating sometimes in terms of the audio cutting off from one device to the other. And uh, I've noticed with the Mark V, this has gotten better. So therefore I just literally just switched off the connect to two devices on Bluetooth on the device settings. But in terms of the audio quality, it's spot on, noise cancellation is really good. If you didn't want to study in cafes or in your room with a lot of background noise, then this is definitely the choice to go for. So I also got a Rubik's Cube on its side. This is a GAN speed cube. So because I, was, I used to be into speed cubing um, in terms of practicing my three by three times, no longer a thing anymore. It's useful just to fiddle your fingers around for a little bit sometimes. And I also have some cards laying around as well, just to fiddle my fingers around with some cardistry sometimes when I'm bored on the desk. The Kindle. So as you can see, I have not charged my Kindle successfully, which means I've not actually used this Kindle for a long while, but I plan on using this Kindle definitely more and more in the new year, because my new year resolution is definitely read more books in terms of self-help, entrepreneurship, self-development. And yeah, it's, it has been serving me really well, this Kindle over the past few years. I've had this for a couple of while. Probably if you were to invest in yourself, I definitely would recommend a Kindle just because the amount of reading and the amount of knowledge you can get. And nowadays knowledge is power in terms of your self-development, entrepreneurship, or you just want to dive yourself into a new fictional world. Kindle is definitely one of the great investments that you can get. So to the left of the desk, left side of the desk, I've got the IKEA desk lamp. Now this desk lamp is 
contains one of the Xiaomi smart light bulbs, which are one of the cheapest smart bulbs I can see that has Alexa integration and a built-in app. It's got all the colors you want, all the scenes, all the automations that you can get, and I'm happy with it. As long as it has Alexa integration, I can control it with my voice. I'm very, very fine with it. In the future, hopefully I can have um, HomeKit integration because I would love to start HomeKit Smart Home, but that's to bigger players like Philips Hue or LifeX. In terms of budget option, the Xiaomi Smart Light Bulb is really, really good and has Alexa integration. And to the right of the lamp, I got one of these IKEA fake lamps, which I've had for literally years, like 10 years or so. It's been serving me really well still intact well it's a fake lamp so you don't have to like water it looks all right uh, it's gone a bit yellowy now provide some greenery to the eyes because apparently it helps your work and to the right of the um, ikea lamp i've got the alexa and this has been awesome in terms of my day-to-day -day. i use it every single day i wake up i use it for my smart home as i said i use it for music the most important so this is the newest echo and the sound quality from it is just awesome and i just I literally use it to just blast music around uh, sometimes sync it with my led lamps and literally make this into a disco <laughs> And to the right of the Alexa, here I've got one of these plaques and a neem tag provided from my medical school in the University of Hong Kong, just to have some decoration here, and remind myself that I'm still a student and I have to work and study hard for that degree. Coming on to the main side of the desk, the main show, which is an LG 29 inch ultrawide monitor this is one of the cheapest ultrawide monitors you can get i've had this for again five or six years now and it served me really well it's only 1080p but i think it's fine for me and in terms of the value for money it's awesome it's under 200 us dollars and it's 1080p ultrawide and allows you to have multiple tabs set up and uh, i have my macbook to the side as well which gives me additional screen real estate so for editing, studying, uh, coding, app development, you can all be laid side by side so you don't have to switch tabs very often. LG also has a QHD 34 inch version of the ultra wide which costs around 400, 500 US dollars, which is more expensive. And I would love to upgrade to that maybe in the future. But for now, this serves me very, very well. And for the desk accessories, I have the Apple Suite, so these are very expensive accessories. The Apple Magic Keyboard and the Magic Mouse, but I've tried so many different ones like Logitech, the MX Series, um, the MX Master Mouse, but I'm still like just so used to the Apple Suite that when I switch to like an MX Master Mouse, for example, I'm just, it just takes me so long to just to like get a, get the grasp of it. And I'm just so used to the gestures and the horizontal scrolling here on the Magic Mouse, despite the amount of hate this gets from the charging situation. So the main computer power in the show is an M1 MacBook Air 2020 edition. I've got this for around a year and a half now, and it has gotten a bit significantly slower when I have multiple tabs open and multiple applications in terms of like Affinity Photo, Sketch and Final Cut Pro open and it does slow down and freeze. Overall, it's a really, really student budget friendly computer. Uh, when I got it, it was uh, under a thousand US dollars and probably one of the entry levels M generation, M chip computers that Apple offers. So with currently in 2022, entering 2023, they have the M2 MacBook Airs and the laptop are actually sort of have, sort of have this floating look to it because of these dual monitor arms and the laptop tray, integrated in the laptop tray that I've got. And this actually elevates this entire setup in my opinion. And also functionally, it's actually really good as well because you can put a lot of stuff underneath the monitor and underneath the laptop and it's non-obstructive. Really, really cool hack just to elevate your setup, get a monitor stand or a laptop stand. So in terms of the desk pad, I've got another IKEA desk pad and this funny story is actually gotten from a San Francisco IKEA and bought this and then carried it all the way over through customs, through the airplane and carried it all the way over back to Asia here in Hong Kong because at the time when I bought this desk pad, the IKEA in Hong Kong did not have this desk pad. I really, really wanted it. it served me very well over the years. Got a desk flap on the side, which you can put some coasters, which I did, or some 
papers or receipts, etc., etc. And uh, this black and white look in terms of the desk pad as well as the white desk really is a really typical contrasty productivity desk setup look, which is awesome in my opinion. In addition to my desk, I also have obviously the mic, which is an Audio Technica AT2020 connected to a boom arm. This microphone is connected to the audio interface, which powers this microphone it's in via USB to my MacBook. This desktop is by no means the final edition and I'll keep on upgrading to it if my budget allows. In addition, I will also be making more desk setups, not only in my room here, but also in my dorm in university. Click here for another one of my awesome videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hasta luego.